Israel is breaking records, the most successful vaccine campaign, and also now the country that has spent the most time in lockdown as a result of the pandemic. It seems that once again, politics may get in the way of Israel's fight against COVID. The coronavirus cabinet is set to meet today to discuss whether or not to extend the lockdown. Experts say without an extension, the virus will wreak havoc on the country's hospitals. Israel's COVID-19 cabinet will decide today whether or not to extend the national coronavirus lockdown that has been in place for three weeks. It is set to expire tonight at midnight. The cabinet also voting today to decide if fines for restrictions or violators should be increased, ending a political stalemate that threatened the extension of the lockdown after the vote was postponed. Health Minister Yuli Edelstein warned over the weekend that letting political games get in the way of these decisions is dangerous. <laughs> שכל הדיבורים חסרי האחריות על כך שלא צריך להמשיך את כל ההגבלות האלה ולא צריך את הסגל. וכל המשחקים הפוליטיים הזולים סביב הרצון שלנו, סביב הדרישה הרפואית שלנו להמשיך את הסגל, אלה הדברים שבסופו של דבר מביאים תחלואה קשה וגורמים גם לתמותה. The Prime Minister is set to push for keeping the airport closed for another two weeks as well. The Health Ministry also reportedly considered having those who return from abroad wear an electronic ankle bracelet to ensure home quarantine is not broken. In the meantime, even as rules remain in place, many are not following them. <coughs> Police broke up a party Thursday night in Rishon Etzion where a confirmed coronavirus patient was present. Most partygoers escaped before police entered the building, but officers distributed more than 100 fines. And thousands of ultra-Orthodox attended a funeral in Jerusalem for a rabbi who died from the virus. The vaccine campaign is still going strong, the country having already given more than 3 million Israelis a first dose, and 1.7 million have had both. Experts now recommending pregnant women in their first trimester should avoid the shot. Unfortunately, COVID infection rates are strong as well. On Saturday, the health ministry recorded 2,597 new cases with a positive infection rate of 10 percent. There are 1,204 Israelis in serious condition with 310 on ventilators and the death toll has hit 4,768. Also with more than a quarter of the total deaths occurring in the last month alone.